Well, on the first, on the issue that caused the firestorm in the first place, single method of evaluation, certainly uh, the results, since I have added writing components, do bear out students' complaint that a, an objective test is not necessarily the best or the sole way in which they should be evaluated. So it did give students another way to demonstrate their learning. Besides, I would argue that it, even though the grade curve was improved in favor of student uh, GPAs, that rigor was actually increased. And the rigor, I would argue, was increased because each of the writing kinds of writing that I assigned required a different kind of skill set. One set of assignments was designed to teach them to read scholarly literature and extract the main point. Along with that went the skill of designing a research question, identifying an unidentified question from research already completed. Another was uh, constructing an argument around ethnographic film and doing analysis of ethnographic data in that genre. And then there was the community action project um, and then they did some discussion board work around the Western Reads novel. So each of them had a different form, a different skill, a different purpose, and a different outcome. And I think adding those four components to the course made it a more rigorous and a more rich experience for incoming freshmen in their transition to what college education, university education, looks like. When I was designing that, I really had students in mind, but as it turns out, those have great value for me as a teacher as well. What it does for me is it gives me an immediate feedback loop on a week-to-week -week basis about how students are understanding the concepts of the discussion for that week, of the learning for that week, without having to wait three weeks or four weeks for an exam to see that there was a widespread misunderstanding or not understanding of key points in the material. One of the things that I have learned from this is that it doesn't have to be burdensome for me to, to give them feedback on those kinds of issues because I can write a blackboard letter to all of them saying, this week I noticed that many of you thought and you fill in whatever the misconception is and then straighten it out. So it's not a matter of one-on-one -on -one with each of them, but broadcasting it to the wider uh, class. The other wonderful thing that I've found is on that issue of being a real person in a classroom, that by spreading out the good examples, one of the ways that I try to teach them what I'm looking for is to pull out the sterling examples from every week, get permission from the author of those good examples, and then give those to the class as models for what would have been a very good assignment. And I make sure that I distribute that voice because there are many students who do well every week and it allows them to be acknowledged for their work and it allows students to see other students succeeding. When it's strictly exams, whether you exchange exam scores and have a feel for how the class is doing, it happens in the dark. And this way they can see visible success weekly in the class.